All right, guys, so what I've done is that I went on the internet the other day and found myself a cheap wheel stand. Um, now, this wheel stand was around about $80, um, and then shipping was probably around about another $20, $25. Um, why did I get a new wheel stand? Well, basically, because I've got one of these ones. I'm not too sure if you can see it. Yep, there you go. Um, so basically, I've got one of these old Fanatec wheel stands, um, which I've probably had now for nearly the, a good part of the decade. Um, as you can see, it's one of those classic Fanatec um, Porsche steering wheels, which I don't think they sell anymore. But the biggest issue that I have with this is that it's got a pole in the middle. So when you're trying to heel and toe, it's getting in the way plus also at the same time I think it's gotten a bit loose and see how it's like swaying back and forth uh, which is really annoying when you're trying to um, when you're trying to steer so what I'll do is that I'll just grab the box see what we got in the box Okay, so let's open this up. Careful with the scissors. And we've got a few other boxes in here. Oh, this one's looking too bad. Let's take out the little bit of the This box. got some printed instructions which is going to come nice and handy and some of the bits here now I'm guessing that's the best yep it looks like it's the best I can say this is not too bad for a hundred dollars um, the instructions are pretty clear, so that's not too bad. Um, but it looks like we'll need to open up that other box because that seems to be where most of the fittings and the other stuff that we have fitted to the base, such as the empty slip mats or whatnot, are in. Um, so I had my doubts that about this hundred, no. Oh, Let's say eighty dollars out of the shipping because it might be a bit more expensive. You might be cheaper, um, but I did have my doubts. Uh, some random nuts and bolts in there. A few more metal bits. I'm guessing these are for the shifter and handbrake. Okay. Alright, so just follow the instructions here. We need to fit the hand key. Okay, so we're in the RX-7, um, this is probably now the second time I've tried to record this. Uh, and we'll see how this setup goes, especially with the new handbrake. So let's just get out of the pits. So we're on Eastern Creek. Oh, 
Oh, that was a bit of a tank slapper, but that's okay. Oh yeah, it's, it is working. <laughs> now I need to, I can now start learning how to drift, which I don't know how to do, and I do parasites pretty badly. Ooh. Oh, yeah. lost her back. Let's do it. Should have clutched took that. Oh, I think that's the word for it. Go, go, go. Ah, see, that's terrible. So, have <laughs> you got any tips on how to how to drift? Let me know in the comments. Take it easy through the corner, and then and out. Ah, oh, again. <laughs> so yeah, so that's actually much more stable. Handbrake, everything. Awesome. Uh, would I recommend it? Uh, if you wanted to modify it, then yes. Uh, if you have a Thrustmaster or a Logitech, then yes. Um, but other than that, it seems to be fine. I'm fan of tech with a few mods. Um, but yeah, cool. Catch you next time, and thanks for watching. <laughs>